If you have already claimed 16 to 19 vulnerable bursary for students, then we will automatically register you on our portal. We will have sent your portal account details to the email account that we already hold. Once you are registered on the portal, you can log on at any time to submit a 16 to 19 vulnerable bursary claim form. You can access the claim form by logging onto the portal and looking under Tasks. Click on the current academic year claim form and start your application. You can save your claim form and come back to it later by clicking on the Save button at any time. The form will be saved under Contact History as Outstanding. If you need any help filling in the form, then you can call us or click on the blue web chat box in the bottom right of the screen at any time. Your current institution details and contact details will be displayed. Click on the next button at the bottom of the screen to continue. Enter all of the details requested. If a student requires a full bursary, then the details will automatically populate and you can amend these if required. If a student requires a pro rata bursary, then you will need to enter the details manually in all fields. You must select the vulnerable group that the student falls under. If you need to add more than one student, click on the Add Student button. When you have added all students requiring a vulnerable bursary payment, you must validate the claim by clicking on the Validate Students button. You cannot progress your claim without validating the data you are entering. If there are any errors in the data, these will be highlighted under the student details. Click Next at the bottom of the screen to continue. The privacy notice on the next screen is telling you what we do with any information you give to us. Click Next to continue once you have read these details. You need to read the declaration carefully and tick the box at the bottom of the page to say that the data you are submitting is accurate. You can view a PDF of the claim on this page if you need to check any details before you submit it. Any incomplete sections of the claim will be highlighted on the left of the screen and marked by a red cross. These must be completed before you submit your claim. Once you are happy that the details are correct, then click the Submit button at the bottom of the page.